today is International Women's Day, set aside to celebrate the rights and freedoms that women have fought for and have earned. And we've come a long way since the 1800s. Women now running their own businesses, outnumbering men at the post-secondary education level, entering the trades in growing numbers. But some say it still isn't good enough, that there is still a long road to hoe. Ulala Cupcake, Chanel speaking. From her grandma's kitchen to four ooh-la-la cupcake locations, Cheryl Andrews has turned these sweet recipes into success. The drive is the most important thing, the passion and the drive. And celebrating International Women's Day, this entrepreneur says she's part of a new norm. For my mom, um, working outside of the home when we were little wasn't necessarily a necessity for her or my grandmother probably either. So, um, but times have changed. <laughs> From the first woman elected to Parliament in 1921 to MLAs such as Maureen Karagiannis, women are becoming increasingly visible and valuable in the political arena. They bring a different style of debate. You know, often men think about the business side of the community and women think about the family side of community. And so I think the voice of women is very important here and we need to grow it. And that growth starts with a good education, says political science professor Dr. Janai Aragon. It's not perfect. There's still work that needs to be done, but we're seeing more women on college campuses. The gender split among students here at UVic is roughly 60% female to 40% male. But the problem, says Aragon, is that women are not entering traditionally male-dominated programs. What I would like to see, of course, is more women in formal politics. I'd also like to see more girls and young women here on campus go into engineering, computer science, math and statistics. I'm totally going to split this one, I can feel it. Bridging the gender gap is exactly what Camosun College is aiming to do through their Women in Trades Exploration Program. It has enabled us to move about 28 females this year through our foundation programs. Um, they're in a variety of courses. They're in our welding, they're in our sheet metal, metal fabrication, which you're in right now. The list goes on, but at the end of the day, these students could be a part of the crew that will tackle the $8 billion C-SPAN shipbuilding contract. And when those jobs come up for grabs, these women say they expect to line up equally with the men. I just don't feel like we're treated any differently than the guys in our course, so it can be International Women's Day every day and it would still be the same day at school. And in line with this year's International Women's Day theme, connecting girls and inspiring futures, these women stand as shining examples for others who want to follow in their footsteps. I just think it's wonderful to celebrate women anytime, anywhere and we should celebrate everyone. A day to celebrate accomplishments and make sure there is a bright future for girls around the world. Erin Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.